Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here, because today we have a special townie makeover. Yes, it's Agnes Crumplebottom, the dusty queen herself, in desperate need of a good makeover. Now, I know what you're thinking. You make over Agnes, and like she's not going to look like herself. Yep, yeah, I'm going to keep her true to herself. I want her to still look like a mature lady, but I just want her to look a lot better. So let's get into it. We're gonna start off with a skin tone. So I do have skin tone overlays that are great for mature skin. So I gave her my favorite one and she already looks a lot better. Now, you will notice that her eyebrows, they're pretty severe. So I thought to myself, should I keep them in the same style? But then I went, nah, she needs to soften her eyebrows a little bit because that's one of the ways to make her look just a little bit more like a friendly old lady and not a grumpy old lady. So I gave her thicker eyebrows and I lessened the arch in them just a little bit. And I decided, oh, do I want to keep with her normal red lip or do I want to go softer? So I decided to go just a little softer again to make her features calm down a little bit, make her look more approachable, make her look cute. And then I know she loves pearls. We all love pearls, right? So I wanted to keep her accessories how they were so you'll see me give her a pearl necklace and some pearl earrings but first i found that cute little updo that's perfect for agnes makes her look so cute then i gave her those earrings and i love this cc it is so cute now i will come back to her accessories later but then i thought i need to find her an outfit first I can't decide on her accessories until I give her the proper fit. So you'll see me choosing a few outfits here because I want to keep her looking classy. Agnes would not wear a dress that's above the knees, I don't think. So I picked this cute little dress and I made it blue because it matched those earrings that I picked. Now you'll see me looking at shoes for a little bit, but I found the perfect heel. Yeah, she might struggle to walk a little bit, but I think they're pretty cute. I gave her a nice little manicure, and I end up giving her a ring that matches her earrings. Now I decide to give her a cute bracelet, and I return to her face to give her that pearl necklace, and I decided to keep those blue earrings as they matched really nice. You'll see me fiddling here a little bit with the lipstick until I get the perfect nude, and then I change her blush so that it's a little less severe. I um, go and I wanted to show you the full outfit. So now we're gonna move on to her formal wear. So it's a lot like her regular outfit. I wanted to change it and make her wear a long, elegant gown. I love this gown so much and I ended up choosing a lilac swatch and I gave her matching gloves. I removed the bracelet that she had and I gave her a different one. I love this look so much. Now I return to her face so that I can give her a nice makeover with accessories that would accent this gown in the way that it deserves. So you'll see me pick these pearl earring drops and this pearl necklace and it looks so good. I end up giving her some some mascara and lashes at first they were a little uh dark but i was like you know what this is her formal wear she's gonna go all out and then that lip looked so good with her dress so i decided to keep it give her a little eyeshadow and she is looking mighty fine love it so much now i almost forgot her shoes so i had to go back and give her a little heel and you can't really see it, so I didn't choose anything too outrageous. They're the same shoes from her first outfit, just in a different swatch. Now we're going to move right on over to her hot weather outfit. Now, you'll notice I skipped her nightwear and I skipped her athletic wear because, you know, Agnes ain't working out. We know she ain't working out and none of us want to see her in a nightgown, let's be honest. So, or a swimsuit for that matter. <laughs> so when I went over to hot weather, I was like so tempted to keep that hair that the 
that she has, that long hair. And I'm like, that doesn't look like Miss Agnes. So you'll see me choose her accessories, do her makeup, and then you'll see me go back eventually and give her a different hairdo. Now I am loving this lip gloss and blush on her. Makes her look so much younger and elegant and cute. I have to give her her manicure back. And then you'll see me try to find her a bracelet. So I end up giving her that little pearl tennis bracelet. Love the CC so much. And then I decide, oh, wait a minute. I need to go and I need to fix that hair. So you'll see me scroll here a little bit, try to find something. And then I found this updo and I'm like, this isn't custom content, but it looks real good on Miss Agonist. So I gave her that hair and then I was like, do I need to switch off the swatch? But no, the black and white dress was working quite well for me. So I do end up giving her some shoes to go with her little cute dress. And I was going to give her these flats, but child, they were not working for me. So I gave her some heels. Now we're going to move on to her final outfit. This is her cold weather outfit. She had that long hair again, so I end up putting it back up in that updo. And then I'm like, well... Your sweater and skirt combo is super cute. It almost hurt me to change it, but I did change it. And you'll see me pick another sweater. And I was real close to going with this sweater. And I'm like, it don't look that bad with that skirt. But I'm like, nah, I don't know. Let's, let's see what else we got. So I found this and I was like, whoa, that's kind of a fit right there, Miss Agnes. But then I'm like, no, I think I can do better than this. And so I go to the outfits here in a moment and I find this long turtleneck dress and I'm like, okay, that's doing something for the curves right there. So I give her a dark um, swatch of that and I give her some black boots. You'll see me move on. She needs gloves. She can't be cold. We don't want Miss Agnes to get sick. So I give her some gloves and then I go back and I'm like, you know, she needs a hat or something. So you'll see me give her some makeup and then I'll have to decide, well, do I want a hat and cover up that beautiful hair? And I'll save y'all some time here. No, I didn't end up giving her a hat. I gave her some really cute earmuffs that you'll see here in a little bit. I wanted to make her face look as soft and cute as possible so that she looks friendly and approachable even in the winter. So here are those earmuffs I'm talking about. I give her those and I go back and forth and back and forth. Do I want white earmuffs? Do I want black earmuffs? Do I want gray? Well, I eventually just matched her gloves and boots and gave her the black version. And if you made it this far, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed turning Miss Agnes from grumpy to gorgeous. And I will see you next time. Like and subscribe. Bye.